Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another day full of tea. I'm back at uh, my parents' place. I mean, it was raining. You saw my last video. It was a little bit messier, but you know what? That's just life in Hamburg. And right now, like everything is changing all the time. Like one, uh, like literally one second, the sun is out. The next second, it's like heavy raining. I don't even know how they live like that over here. But anyways, we are back here on our safe zone and now we need to keep talking about this tea because girl, it's getting juicier and juicier when it comes to Lisa Rena getting exposed, right? And we need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Beverly Troops, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K, so if you want to join, the family, you know what to do. And let's talk about this mess. I have been telling you, Lisa Rena has no idea who she was messing with. Not that any of this has anything to do with Kathy Hilton. Mm -hmm. But, you know, let's just say that she poked the bear and now all this shit is coming like to the surface out of nowhere, okay? Look, what what else was she expecting? She literally took, took it to herself to put all this information out there because you're not gonna tell me that those leaked messages were so out of nowhere. We have never ever seen leaked messages from Lisa Rena ever. And she has been on the show, what, like, probably over five years, by now. No, yeah, way more, you know? Um, and never we have seen leaked text messages from any, from her, ever. And now, randomly, her text messages got leaked at the same time that new information from Kathy Hilton, uh, you know, allegedly, uh, it's out there. And also, like, all these racist and homophobic uh, videos from Paris Hilton and Corinne Hilton and Nikki Hilton and like all of that it, and it's all happening at the same time. Bitch, we all know what, what game she's trying to play but I've been telling you she has no idea. She has been digging her own grave and by now we all know that Kathy Hilton, is she is super classy. She's not gonna drag Lisa Rena like literally on the TV that that's never gonna happen but let's say like well, what is the say that you said in English like if you if you have a, a house of glass you should not be throwing stones or something like that you know what I mean right so this is exactly what is going on Lisa Rena has so many secrets so many things going on right and she should be quiet because no one is exempt from those secrets to be out there. And if you have done little shit out there, it will come out, especially if you come after someone as powerful as Kathy Hilton with baseless accusations, okay? And I think that's the whole point because she is trying to come after Kathy Hilton with just rumors, okay? Whatever happened with Paris Hilton and Karen Hilton, you know, and this, this was like 20 years ago, um, at the end of the day, it's also their problem. It doesn't have anything to do with, with Kathy Hilton, but Lisa Rena it tried to took that to pin it on Kathy Hilton, like it was her doing. You know, like she is trying to find a way to cancel Kathy Hilton, trying to make the world believe that she is a racist and that she is a homophobe. But bitch, there are no proof. Okay, like every, anything that happened in Aspen, there are no proof at all. And I think that's the main reason that why people are not taking this bait. When everything happened with Jenny Wen on The Real Housewife of uh, Salt Lake City, the proof was right there. You know, like they, they leaked all her Facebook page and we were able to see that she was a racist. You know, so like that's why she got canceled so fast. 
But you cannot just go around throwing these allegations being like, oh yeah, she's a racist, she's a homophobe, based on what, okay? Now, all these things from Lisa Rena's past and Harry Hamlin are coming out, okay? Now, on my last video, I told you guys about uh, Lisa Rena doing uh, racist comments on TV and uh, Lisa Rena and Harry Hamlin being doing all these anti-semitic things you know and uh, when the when they wear the the costume uh, to, to, with the nasty thing to the costume party all of that shit you know it's starting to resolve and I don't know I, I don't know if exact I don't know if it has anything to do with Kathy Hilton but let's just say that it might be fans being pushed by their love for of Kathy Hilton or, or just to prove to Lisa Rena that she cannot keep doing the same thing to someone else. Or maybe Kathy Hilton is involved, but there is actually no way to know about that. Now, we have new evidence that is coming out there. So I'm going to read you a couple things. So the first one, this was on Reddit. And uh, it says, Harry Hamlin, 2010 biography, more than casually racist, Sid and Nancy Cost customers not random and then it says harry hamlin and lisa rena have a track record beyond sid and nancy swastika i think they're talking about the custom first and it says his 2010 biography full frontal nudity the making of an accidental actor call up radios has the crudest racism throughout the pages paint as quippy and clever Four great paper with his mother on Mein Kampf and his teacher, Harry writes, is probably Jewish and gives no response. Then he is asked to leave the school. He goes to boarding school and eats skin Indian for breakfast. This is what he wrote on the book. He writes about the best Christmas present ever, a five-year subscription to Playboy magazine from his parents when he was 11. And he says, I went on to unveil not a copy of National Geographic, but something much, much better. Suddenly, I realized my friends will not be gassing at the sagging black breasts of the native hordes, but rather, rather at the glossy tone breasts that were the best Hop Hefner had to offer. Yeah, he wrote that and it was published just a decade ago. Vile. And you can already imagine all the comments and all the things that people are saying out there. And also, I'm guessing because uh, Lisa Rena put on blast Paris Hilton and Conrad Hilton, making like, okay, we're going to play with the kids. Now they're also trying to bring these things back that happened with Amelia uh, where she was accused of black fishing. And it says Amelia Gray Hamlin is being accused of black fishing for sharing dark skin photos. And when everything went down, she just said that she tans very easily. But when people were looking at the picture, it looked like her tone was the, the, the tone of her skin were actually way darker than she actually is instead of just uh 10. this is getting messier okay by the second but this is i mean lisa rena can't blame anyone else by but herself okay she's bringing this up she's bringing this to herself and to her family okay and she keeps doing all this shit, trying that she can destroy another person take down another housewife it's not gonna fly this time. She has no idea who she's dealing with. Well, you have it over there, right? Like who you think at this point is more racist or more anti-Semitic or more, well, there are nothing on homophobic days, but what I'm thinking is, oh, okay, she's trying to put all this shit out there about Kathy Hilton without having any proof. Well, there are here the shit that Lisa Ren has actually done and her family, and they're actually proof out there. So it's up to you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below about this whole situation. And 
Do you think this is the end? Do you think that Lisa Ryan is going to learn her lesson? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.